The safety workshop takes 30 to 45 minutes to implement and is recommended for children between the age groups 2 to 8 years. If the classroom has a projector, use the PowerPoint presentation provided on the CD. If not, use the safety club book to review the concepts. Good morning, kids. Good, Good morning, ma'am. We're now going to do a safety workshop that will help you keep safe always. Who wants to be part of the safety Me. club? Review each safety skill with the students and facilitate discussion by asking questions and encourage them to participate. We will cover topics that include being safe at home, being safe on the road, personal safety, keeping our planet safe, internet and phone safety and important numbers to remember. Let the children know that there will be prizes for participation. A child should be rewarded. Something as simple as pencils, erasers or chocolates if he or she brings up a safety precaution that will benefit the class. Rhea and Raj are here to say keep safe at home and when you play. Sharp things like scissors or knives can be really harmful to your lives. Is it okay to play with a knife? No! What might happen if you play with a sharp object, kids? Ask the children to raise their hands when they want to answer a question so that the class can be conducted in a disciplined manner. Trisha? Your hand, your hand might get cut and your, hand, your finger might bleed. Yes, very good. Your hand might bleed. Devin? Or you might hurt somebody else by mistake. Or you might hurt somebody else by mistake, yes. You might poke your eye with it. You might poke your eye with it. Very good. So, um, children, uh, it's important to remember not to play with sharp objects to be safe. Medicines are not for you to touch. Doing that will hurt your tummy very much. Cleaning products keep houses clean and slick. Touching or drinking them can make you very sick. Is it okay to take medicines without your parents' permission? No. No. no! Yeah. What might happen if you take medicines that are not meant for you? Ishita? You might hurt your tummy very much. Yes, you might hurt your tummy very much. Kitu? You could get poisoned and get sick. You can get poisoned, yes. Sahana? You might die. Yes, you might die. It can be very fatal. So never take medicines that are not meant for you. Also, here's a question. Why do you think cleaning products are dangerous? Devin? Because some of them contain acid and acid can burn anything it touches. Very good, Devin, yes. So always remember to keep cleaning products away and to never touch them or consume them. At the end of each topic, summarize the important points. Let's talk about stranger safety. So do not talk or take gifts from any stranger. This way you will always be out of danger. So is it okay to take gifts from a stranger? No. No, no right? Well, if a stranger asks you to come with him or her, is it okay to go with them? No, because a stranger can be a kidnapper or a bad person. Yes, very good, Ishita. So just to summarize this concept, because it's very important, kids, is do not believe in any strangers, do not take anything from them and do not go with them. And also, if a stranger comes up to you and says, um, you know, uh, come with me, your parents are waiting for you or um, your parents are there, let me drop you to your parents, do not trust them and run as fast as you can away from them because they may be a kidnapper. Your body belongs to you with it amazing things you can do. Running, dancing, hopping and sliding, swimming, biking, singing and horse riding. Covered by your swimsuit or your underclothes are your private parts. Do not let anybody touch those parts. Your body belongs to you. Do you all love and respect your body? Yes! Yes, very good. Well, uh, your private parts are parts that nobody is allowed to touch. Here's um, areas that nobody is allowed to touch your mouth your chest the area between your legs and your bottom ask a child in the class to identify the areas that nobody is allowed to touch if a child is unable to identify explain by pointing to the no touch areas of the body as shown in the book so if somebody touches you in a way that you don't like 
shout loudly and say no to express your dislike. I want everybody to join me and shout loudly and say no if somebody touches you inappropriately. Let's go. How do you say no? No! no. Very good. You have to be very assertive. So let's do this once again and be very assertive. Let's say, how do we say no? No! Yes, very good. If the child says no in a low voice, encourage them to say no in a loud and assertive manner to defend themselves. You can get help. Tell somebody you trust until they drive the bad person away. So a trusted person can be anybody uh, who's 18 years or older. It can be your mother, your father, your grandparents, your teacher, or anybody that you trust. So I want each of you to think and tell me one person that you trust in your life that you can go to if somebody bothers you. Ishan? My mom. Your mom? My parents. Your parents, okay. Devan? My sister. Your sister. Devan, how old is your sister? 14. 14? Okay, well, Devan, here's the thing. Your sister um, might be very trustworthy, but she is still young, and even if she wants to help you, she may not be able to help you. So I'd, I'd like you to think about one other person that you trust that you can go to who's 18 years or older. My mom. Good choice, Devan. Okay, well, that's good. So we all have trusted people in our mind and we should go to them as soon as anybody makes us uncomfortable so that they can help us and drive the bad person away. Okay, kids, I'm gonna share some numbers with you that are very important to remember at all times so that you can call these numbers when you're in trouble or are feeling unsafe. Uh, police is 100, ambulance is 102 or 108, Fire control is 101, and child services is 1098. Now I have a question for y'all. Do you know the numbers of um, your parents or your caretakers or the trusted adult in your life? Yes! Okay, well if you know that's good. If you don't, go home today and find out what the number is and by heart it and always remember it. So next, we'll talk about internet and phone safety tips. So um, never give out your home address or your contact information to anybody over the internet or on the phone, or do not tell them ever that you're home alone. Do not communicate with anybody on the internet or the phone unless your parents approve. And if somebody makes you uncomfortable either on the internet or the phone, Tell your parents or your trusted adult immediately. Teach the children that everything a person says on the internet or phone may not be true. They could be lying to trap them and get them into trouble. What might happen if you give a stranger that you meet online your home address? Rohan? You may get kidnapped or in trouble. Yes, very good. Well, and what might happen if you tell a stranger on the phone or online that you're home alone? Ishan? They might come home and take you away. Yes, that's a good answer, Ishan. So children, we've learned a lot of safety skills today. And um, let's practice these safety skills to keep ourselves safe each and every day. Now let's get together and take an oath that we'll always keep ourselves safe. We're now part of the safety club. We are now part of the safety club. And we will practice these safety rules we will, we will practice, practice the safety rules each and every day. Each and every day. Well, congratulations, kids. We're all part of the safety club now. <laughs>